I chose the first book of the trilogy, Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, to read for my fiction book for summer reading. It is by J.R.R. Tolkien, published in 1965. I have just finished watching a history show on World War I and learned that Tolkien was in World War I. So some people think that the series he wrote, Lord of the Rings, was based on World War I. For example, Sauron, who is the title character of the Lord of the Rings, is trying to take over Middle-earth with an army of orcs. This is similar to the evil leader of the enemy who is trying to take over Europe. The Shire is very much like Britain. The hobbits, like the UK during the first part of World War I, are carrying all the weight on their shoulders. Tolkien wrote, but it is a heavy burden, so heavy that none can lay it on enough. Eventually, eventually, the fellowship is formed and the hobbits have friends, allies, to help them. Tolkien liked to build worlds with geography, with places like Mordor, the Shire, Mirkwood, etc., describing in detail. Secondly, he liked to make languages like Elvish, etc. And cultures too, like in the Shire, when there's a birthday, everyone who was invited got good presents, and not just a person whose birthday it was. Money and trading wasn't part of the story, and when the main character would stay somewhere, Tolkien never wrote how much money he spent and how much they had. Finally, there was no religion, although there is a lot of spiritual stuff, and magic could be in place of religion. It is Sauron's technology, his war weapons, that are up against the elves, elves' magic. The book closes with the Fellowship being split up. So the question is, what will happen to the Fellowship of the Ring? That is the question that keeps you hooked. And so you must keep reading Tolkien's series to find out what shall happen to the fellowship.